Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So it's um, a lovely sunny day here on my terrace. And it's just the right time to... There's a number of things which are out now which never come out again in the year. So I just wanted to capture them because these Japanese tree peonies... Don't whinge, don't whinge. <laughs> What's the whinging for? I don't, I'm not going to... Oh, well done. You've, you've just earned two zlotties for finding that. Um, OK, so... Uh, uh, everyone's going to be up in arms now that they've, that they've discovered that I motivate my my kid to be helpful by the opportunity of earning money, but that's what's going to happen later in life, so you might as well get them used to it. Um, that's Chinese lilac, which is um, uh, Syringa v. Sinensis. A lot of people don't know this, but, but lilac is called Syringa uh, because the the inner part of the of the uh, of the stems are um, empty or at least easily empty a bull they've got a very soft pit in them in the inside and therefore and therefore uh, oh I'm getting used as a piggyback <laughs> stop it down you get down you get ah Right, I'm trying to do a film. Um, so this is uh, so this is t Alan Titchmarsh doesn't have this problem. Maybe Charlie does, but that's a different matter, Dimmock. Um, hey, stop it! Right, stop biting your arm when I don't do what you want me to. I'm not going to be morally blackmailed. Um, okay. Um, what? Do you think it's dead? All right, we'll get to that. Let's go around in a. Well, let's go around in a loop. You can talk about that one when we get there. Um, so this is the normal lilac, and it hasn't bloomed this year at all, even though the lilacs, generally speaking, are already in bloom. I think it's just my my daughter probably pulled so many leaves off that it needs this year to get back into uh, green growth again. It'll give us flowers like that one next year. It gave us flowers two years running, and I think it's okay in that pot. But um, these are seeds of things which Arena planted. Ah, stop it! Ow! 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 What are you doing? This is a Japanese. Ow! Stop it! What are you doing my back in? Ow! Stop it! And you're tickling my neck. Ah! 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 And you've crashed one of the chairs down there on the floor. So that's where was I? That's our Christmas tree which got in the pot. Okay, he thinks that if I'm standing up, I'm available for piggybacks, but I'm trying to do a film right now. <sighs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. You don't understand anything, do you? Right, and these lovely dog roses, if you like, out in bloom. That's not strictly speaking my terrace, although. We treat it pretty much as ours anyway, and uh, by default, since the wall isn't very large around and my kids go over there. But Georgie, give me a break. Oy, oy, oy. Anyway, this is what I really wanted to have a look at. This is a Japanese tree peony, one of several that we've got. Not all of them are in flower yet, two of them are. This is a lovely pink one. How about that then, ladies and gentlemen? This only happens once a year, afterwards it doesn't give any more flowers. Um, when, our, when, when the flowers start to die then we deadhead them to give them the chance for a bit more green growth. This is actually starting to become a, quite a bit bigger than when I bought it. Most of the other ones haven't really grown up that much. This one's still about the same, well even less m much of it than when I got it. There's one of my sea buckthorns that has come back in the main. Um, this gooseberry came back nice. Oh, this peony will have a flower on it, but it's still just in bud. Um, this gooseberry plant has had most of the leaves stripped off it, so I'll be surprised if it gives any gooseberries, because where's it going to get the sugar from? There's another Japanese tree peony looking lovely, with another one on the way there. Um, I'll do some stills of this at the end. It's a rose coming back, but not with much leaf. There's another peony. There's a, ju a squamous juniper. I don't understand. What happened to the roses? Yes. 
No. Well, I think I think no, that really. those roses are probably tired. I just don't know why they're not coming back. But this lavender died over the winter, didn't make it through the winter. This is, this is all right. Yeah. Well, it just hasn't come into leaf yet. Maybe it still will. I always say that if my birthday's on May the 26th, and I always say this, if something hasn't come back into leaf by my birthday, it ain't coming back. But I always let them, I let them go till then. Even something that looks as dead as that, you never know what might happen. But once my birthday's come and gone, I always say, you know, this is one of my three tamarisks. It didn't come back. But this one has come back very nicely, as you can see. It's now in full flower, that tamarisk. And another tamarisk over here. What? What happened? Um, another. He's roaring his way through my film. Why is this crown of thorns ended up down here? Um, Tamarisk here is uh, has come back. The holly seems to be suffering, although it made it through the winter. And another holly over there seems to have just gone the journey. We've got strawberries here, but whether there'll be any strawberries, I have my doubts because Tanya, of course, picks the flowers. But they're, they're there anyway. Three, three pots of strawberries and uh, another one of those buckthorns three three i've got in total um that's a dogwood by the way in the corner i don't think we touched it on it a dogwood on in the corner and uh there's some nice barberry bushes over there one of them one of my pots with barberries in has gone over to the neighbor there to stop my kids from climbing over that fence to them because they were um, unfortunately pushing their way through there the whole time but that's actually a very pretty barberry bush so uh, we had but we had to basically give it over there so that uh, to protect the neighbors from George being able to to go over there and then he would have gone on into the next side as well and gone for a long long way and caused trouble to a lot more people you can say everybody's happy to have us as a neighbour. <laughs> what can I do about it? In a minute, I'll give you a piggyback in a minute, but I'm just doing something else. You must be obeyed. Right, so that's a... a Kalinka bush, like in the song. Kalinka, Kalinka. Gilda Rose, by any other name, would smell as sweet. Um, what we've got down there, another another Berberis or Barbary bush, with quite a lot of clovery things next to it. And I think I've just about gone round, obviously we've got the yucca there, which comes out in the, in the summer, goes in in the winter. And that's about it, really. Just wanted to show what we've got. Now I'm going to take some stills. Oh! 